to make our samp, we are going to start with boiling water to which we are going to add the samp. My samp is already washed. I am using the 30 minutes A samp. You can use the other one. But if you are using the other traditional samp, I think it's better that you soak it overnight so that you decrease the amount of time that you will be cooking it. And also guys, use a bigger pot. I made a mistake and used this pot and forget that it spills over when it starts cooking. So avoid that and use a bigger shallow pot. Not sure if you guys noticed, but I did transfer the sample into a bigger pot. As you guys can see on the stove, it was already spilling over so I had to change pot yes guys i know it's too much admin but it needs to be done and please don't close the sump okay our sump is ready and i've transferred it back into the original pot which was a smaller pot guys i'm so sorry for all this transferring you can stick to one pot and also advise that you please make sure that you always wash your samp unless you like the sticky thingy i don't know what it's called i don't know if it's starch or what if you like that then don't wash it as much i prefer to wash it because i don't like it and i went ahead and added my milk you can use any other milk it's fine and when i say any other milk i mean any other liquid milk or some people use fresh cream i don't have fresh cream to waste <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking guys but yeah you can use fresh cream if you prefer it's up to you or you can stick to using the primora only it's also up to you but if you just wanted to have that extra yumminess please go ahead and do it as i'm doing use your full cream milk and also use the powdered uh, primora And here's the coaster of the show. Obviously, the star for this will have to be our Kumora, and then our coaster will have to be parsley. I love parsley, guys. I think I went ahead and added more of Kumora because I really, really love it. And I use the rice spice because I just love the flavor. It adds, and also the color. It adds a bit of color to my samp, which I am absolutely in love with because. <laughs> I'm not trying to have like plain white samp and then I added oregano you can any you can add any other herbs you prefer I just love these ones and also guys go easy with the spices as you, you see I'm not using much spices in fact there are no like over the top spices on this and we are done guys we just need to add one more thing I, I usually use my slices, my sliced cheese. I don't use the grated cheese. I just use whatever cheese I have in the fridge. And it's always the sliced cheese. I use about three slices. You can use two. You can use more. It's all totally up to you. What happens is when you put the cheese, it melts and then it brings your scent together. So in no time, your stamp, your stamp is going to come together and be like... I'm not sure how to pour it, but you will see when you're cooking it. Please, please do put the um, the cheese, guys. You won't regret it. Look at that. It's a pity that my camera doesn't focus. I'm so sorry for that. I wish it, it could focus. And we are done. We are done with the samp. Now let's make the beef. I just noticed that I lost footage guys where I was showing you how to brown your meat but it's not a biggie you just put your meat uh, you just fry your meat in oil and and take it out you just brown it on all sides and then take it out I have here my onion to which I'm going to add garlic I'm not sure what it is that you can substitute for garlic uh, so guys please don't ask me for substitute I really have no idea I just love garlic and you will see that in almost every dish that I'll be preparing, I'll always have garlic. That's why I buy it in, in that big tub. Guys, I want to sneeze so bad, but I'm afraid that if I sneeze, I'm going to have to start this video all over. <laughs> 
and i've been trying to record this voiceover for the past hour and i'm tired so i hope you guys know the things i do for you like i can't even sneeze <laughs> And it seems I had put all my ingredients very far from me guys or I was opening something I don't know hence I took so long leaving the pot and unattended so <laughs> please bear with me that's uh, curry powder that I added and paprika i don't even know why i'm talking like this but yeah i guess i'm sleepy as well you can use whatever spices you prefer and i'm adding our browned meat as you guys can see that's that's basically how you brown your meat it's browned already or you can brown it at this stage you just put your meat and make sure that it browns on all sides well there's no need for me to tell you what that is I and mean, you can see the names so i try and keep quiet i'm running out of herbs guys who wants to sponsor me Somebody tell Robertson's to sponsor me. <laughs> wow, look at me. I'm looking for sponsors already. But I love my Robertson spices. Unfortunately, I'm in a place where I don't get the whole range. So I have to make do with what ShopRite has. Unless I go to Durban, then I can get more. And I added some bay leaves. It looks like it's a lot, but it's actually not. So, don't come for me. <laughs> and yeah, the beef stock. At this point, my pan was burning because <laughs> I think my heat was too high and I literally didn't have any oil. And you guys better be grateful that I did not I leave the sound for this video because you would feel that uh, you know when your pot is boiling and then you're adding water yeah that sound you would have like heard it it is satisfying but not all the time this is beef guys it takes too it's too long to cook so make sure you put as much water as you need to cook it you might have to add water again close the pot this is how the meat looks i've cooked it for close to two hours if i'm not mistaken but obviously i was adding water as soon as my water was almost finished i would add more I'll just see if my meat is ready and it wasn't so I'll eat more but now my meat is ready so I'm adding, adding all my veggies. I only had green paper guys if you have the rest of the colors go ahead make your meal colorful it's up to you. You have to let this cook until your potatoes are ready. Depending on your potatoes, it might take less than 25 minutes. And now our meat is ready. You can just leave everything here or you can just add soup like I did. I love this soup guys. I'm not a soup person but this is an exception. This is soup. This soup here is bomb. So 
if you ever need to use a soap you can definitely use that norwalk soap it's so good and also abanyabati ama soup ayandi so so yeah if you're cooking for umdei me and nibaning i think it's it's a good idea that you use soup and also you can cook this with um tomato paste you can just add two spoons of tomato paste with the first time you're cooking yo i'm not sure if i'm making sense but on that first stage where i showed you guys where i added water you can you could have just added your tomato paste then and closed your pot and let it do the thing you, your meat was gonna be how do i explain this guys watch my other videos i did explain why i used tomato paste And we are done guys that's it we are done okay I have shown you guys how to make the creamy sap and I've also shown you how to make this beef so I am hoping that you guys are going to have like a warm winter I mean with <laughs> hearty meals uh, I'm not sure what other meals do you want me to show you next uh, I was thinking of showing you guys dumplings and some beef stew how does that sound i mean it's winter after all so yeah do let me know if that's what you want to see next and we are done guys do you enjoy